You know it's hard out here for the things When your printer's not printing what you think We have all the colors that you may need From a company that name is that ain't poppin' Hard out here for the things When your printer's not printing what you think We have all the colors that you may need From a company that name is that ain't poppin' Hello everyone, this is Stuart Smith with That Is Poppin' where the ink does what it says, it pops. Today we'll be taking this ET8550 and turn it into a sublimated printer. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, this is Sir Smith again. Um, I just finished unpacking the ET8550 X-ray printer. And remember, today we're turning to a sublimation printer. And we'll be using that ink's popping sublimation ink. We have your black, your photo black, your cyan, yellow, magenta, and gray. This printer here, the ET8550, requires six inks in order to use it. So with that being said, we're going to turn on the printer by pushing the power button here and let it do its thing. Just waiting for it to tell us what the next steps to do. Okay. Here are the LCD. The LCD screen here Ask you your language. We're going to do English. It has some information here. We're going to say no use, smart device, and it's processing. We're just waiting on it to finish processing. Let me slide up the camera so you guys can see that better on what I'm doing. So we're just waiting, waiting, waiting. And remember guys, this, this printer here requires six bottles of ink in order to use it. Okay, now if you guys could see that, let me put it a little closer. All right, good. So here, as you can see, see this start home, start here bundle with the printer or on the website to complete initialization. Say okay. As you see here, more information. I'll do you guys read it. We're going to proceed. Okay. Here, it tells us make sure to fill the black ink tank with black ink. Okay. Um, if you want to, you can say how to. And after you have done it, you click proceed. With that being said, here, we're going to lift up the lid. In order to access the tank. Okay, so let me move the camera back a little bit so you guys can see the tank levels and everything that I'm doing at the same time. All right, here we go. This here is the tank levels. As we fill ink into this here, your level will fill up. 
here. It will show you the ink through here to each individual tanks. Right now, as you see, there's no ink inside. And remember, black, photo black, cyan, yellow, magenta, and gray. Okay. Now, we have to flip this tab here, which give us, which indicate which ink belong where for each tank. Black, photo black, cyan, yellow, magenta, gray. In order to fill each tank or put ink into each tank, we have to flip up these tabs here, the blue tabs here. They all have their own individually tab. So you have to flip it up. And once you fill the ink, you close it back. Okay. Now, with that being said, for the sake of the tutorial, so it won't be long for you guys, I had already opened up the bottle and taken off the aluminum tab here in which you can access the ink so we can pour inside. But I did also save one that I could demonstrate on how I take off the aluminum tab to access the ink. So with that being said, I'm going to twist it open. See, it's unopened, as you guys see here. I have been open. And this here's a gray. And what I did, I just took some kind of sharp object, but I'm using my scissors. And I just poke one side. I don't go too deep. And I'll just twist it as I go along. I'll just twist the bottle. And then remember to keep the four for going inside. I just make sure I lift up as I go along. And be careful at the same time so it won't fall back in. Then I take my paper towel here and just finish it off by pulling it off. And you see, we access the ink here. Okay. Then once we've done that, switch back on the tab. Set it down. And let's get started, guys. Okay, what we're going to do here, we're going to use our blacks. We're going to use our black sublimation ink here from that ink popping. Remember, guys, we're using our black sublimation ink from that ink is popping. They have a website also. Okay. As you guys see here, this bottle is very wide. In fact, because this is a 135 millimeter bottle. You guys will have to remove one blue tab and also one blue tab next to it when you fill up the, the black. And the reason being is because once you turn this upside down, it won't have a level ground because once because of the size of the bottle. And I'm going to demonstrate what I mean here. Okay, here we go. So, if you do not remove this tab here, you're going to see how it lays uneven. It may work just fine, but for me, I prefer to lift up the tab so I can have an even pour as I go along. But with that being said, I'm going to move the camera again, guys, closer so you can see what I'm doing here. And we're going to lift it up. And I'm going to tilt down the camera some, okay? So bear with me. So you guys get a good view on everything that I have going to go. What I'm doing here. All right. I think that's fine. Okay. If you guys can see him here, I will be putting this. on top of here. But remember, by me not removing this tab here, it won't be even. But I'm going to do it just for demonstration of this video. 
And remember, do not squeeze these bottles. They are not meant to be squeezed. Okay, guys? Once you flip them over into this tab here, it will automatically do its thing. It's, it has some type of technology, I guess, that will suck suck it on itself into it, into it here. So there's no, there's no need to squeeze. Okay, let's see how that works by me not moving that tab. Okay, with that being said, it works without me moving the tab. But I would prefer to move this tab here where I don't have to worry about any problems, any spills, or anything like that. But I'm moving this camera again, guys. Moving back slowly so you guys can see the ink level. As you can see here, it is filling up. It's looking dark. Yeah, I, I hope you guys can hear. Okay, boom. It's filled. Okay. So once it's filled, what you have to do is quickly pull up. Voila. Put back on your tab. And we will proceed. We will proceed to your next ink. And put the camera again closer so you guys can see me push here. Make sure to fill the black ink tank with black ink. Okay, we have done that. But we use sublimation ink from that ink popping. And we're going to proceed. Okay, now it's asking us to make sure we use the photo black ink. Okay, so I'm gonna lift the tab back up so that I can access my photo black tank. But I'm going to close my black tank lid and I'm going to open up my photo black. But this time I'm going to open the cyan too. And I'm also going to open up the black so that I can have room even space as i go along and again make sure you check your bottles make sure you are pouring exactly what you're supposed to be pouring in each tank okay double check guys double check okay here we go all right so here we're using your photo black sublimation ink all right And make sure to look and line up with each tab. If you have multiple tabs open up, we're doing this using the big bottle. Again, guys, make sure to look carefully at each tab when using the big bottle if you decide to open up multiple tabs in order to get a, a, a even level flow with the bottle. But it really doesn't make a difference. That's just something I prefer to do. You don't have to do it. As you guys see earlier. With that being said, I'm going to leave it open. I'm going to follow down here and make sure it's a second one here. And I'm going to make sure it says photo black. And I'm going to push it in and do not squeeze. It will do its thing. And I'm going to Move the camera back, guys, so you guys can see it's filling. As you can see, it's getting dark. And we're just waiting for it to fill. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Voila, it's done. And you guys could hear it when it's finished because you, you heard the suction, the suction from it that it, it's not making any more bubbly sound. And you just pull up, over, pull back on your lid, and you just close down your black, you close down your photo black, and if you decided to lift it up because of the size of the bottle, you you keep up your cyan. But make sure 
on the LCE screen that you proceed, you hit proceed for the next step, which I'm going to do here. Okay. So again, I'm lifting back up the site, the lid. Again, I'm lifting back up the lid in order to get to the tank. And we are using that that ink popping cyan sublimation espen ink. Okay. And again, I'm going to check to make sure. I'm going to check to make sure I'm using the right bottle. And I'm going to do it. Do his thing, let it feel. And if you keep your hand on here, you can feel it going inside uh, the, each tank. And again, we're just waiting, waiting for it to feel. And again, we're just waiting to feel. Almost there. Voila. We there. Okay, we just lift it up. Ooh. Had a little mess. Just take our napkin. Paper towel and wipe up the mesh. It happens. Okay, so I'm lifting back up the lid. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so let me make sure I clean up a little better here. Uh, okay, cool. Okay, make sure I get any excess ink that's spilled out. Close down, close down the lid for cyan, and I'm moving to yellow. But make sure on the tank here, on the SCD string here, you're going to put push. Make sure you get the focus. Okay, you're going to push proceed. Okay, now it's telling to do the yellow ink. So we lift back up the um the lid again. And we're going to lift up the yellow tank lid. We're going to grab your yellow sublimation ink from that ink popping. Go on twist the top. Well, never mind. I'm so sorry. I did the wrong one. Blooper. Okay, here we go. All right. Here we go again. We're just going to fill. Okay, now it's filling. It's doing this thing. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's filling here, it's showing in yellow. It's filling. Wait on to finish, wait on to fill. Waiting to fill. Okay, let me see if it's done. All right, it's done. So this time, let me get my paper towel ready just in case when I pull up too hard, it comes out, if it should come out or not. I'm going to be gentle this time. Yes. See, see, I see it. When you pull up, don't pull up hard because, as you see, I did earlier, I made a mess. Just be gentle. Take your time with it.
Okay, moving on to the next. With that being said, we are going to, since we finished doing the yellow, we're going to push proceed so we could go to our next color. So I'm push proceed, and now it asking us to use the magenta ink to fill the tank. And we're going to lift the lid again until it locks. Grabbing the magenta sublimation ink from that ink popping. I'm going to twist off the knob, tab, whatever you want to call it. Lift the lid and get ready to pour. And remember, guys, do not squeeze. Let it do it its own. Once you flip it over into it, its tank and push it down, it will do its thing. Ready to fill. It's still filling. It's still filling. And one thing I say, this is one of the most easiest things to do. I mean, I love, I, I, I think I'm going to love this. And I think you guys are going to love it too. I'm so tired of cartridges. I'm glad that um, they did something different with the bottles. Okay. This bottle here is done. And remember, remember, when it comes to pulling the bottle, take your time and just flip it over. And if you did get a mess inside of it, just take something and just clean around it. Like I did here, it's got a little. I have a little mess inside, so I'm just gonna take my napkin, my paper towel, and I'm just going to dab around the edges where they got a little mess at. It's not a big deal. It's like when they design stuff; they don't design stuff perfectly. Again, I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to clean around the area of my towel here to get any excess ink that may have leaked out. Okay, almost done. Almost finished. Okay. Voila. Okay, so close the towel for the magenta. Last but not least, we will be moving on to your gray. Okay, since I did, remember, since I did my magenta, I had to hit proceed so I could go to the last, if I go to the last one, which is the gray. Lift the lid back up again. Gray, as you guys see here, gray submission ink from that ink popping. All right, all right, here we go. And all we're doing now, guys, just waiting for the, waiting for it to fill. I could say for myself that this process is very, very easy. It's not hard at all. It could be a little time consuming, but hey, if I could use, if I could use, have more ink without paying for all the cartridges, I could, I could spare a little time.
I think you guys would agree on that. <laughs> okay. Sounds like it's complete. All right, let me get my paper towel ready just in case I have any mess. Right with this lid all day. All right, here we go. Flip up slowly. Flip it. I'm going to check when the SS. Okay, cool. This here was just fine. And you guys could also take a Q tip to clean around any tank that may have SS ink. Okay, so I'm going to close the lid of the great, I'm going, to, I'm going to close the tab of the great tank, ink tank. As you see, we finish here. I'm checking to make sure for any extra spill for myself. That's just who I am. Okay. Uh, fine. Good. Good. Okay. Now, close this tab here. Lid, lid tab, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to show you guys the last procedure. Bear with me. we we'll lift up the camera. Make it come closer. So y'all can see what I'm doing last year. All right. Since you guys know that we had did our last ink, which it was the gray sublimation ink, I'm going to hit proceed. Okay, now I'm going to let the lid completely down and I'm going to adjust the camera for you guys so you can see what's going on once I have done that. Okay, a little shake, but that's fine. All right, here we go. It says press OK for five seconds. Alrighty, and we're going to do that. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Well, it did four. I guess I did longer than five seconds. Okay. As you see here, make sure that the make sure that the all colors ink are filled up to the upper line on the ink tank. Select the start button and start ink charger. Do not load paper until uh, internalization is complete. Okay. I'm going to select start button so I can start the ink charging process. All right, here we go. All right, guys. Now, as you see here, <laughs> takes seven minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the video going throughout the whole time, but once it get to you guys, however you watch it via YouTube, via whatever you watch your videos from, I would have I would speed up this point this this point here, so that we could get to the next part. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching, but it's not finished. As you guys see here, it's charging so. It takes seven minutes to charge, and it is kind of loud. And you guys don't forget that the company that ain't popping carry your sink, your six ink bottles for your ET eighty eight for your eighty five fifty. I'm sorry. Also for the eighty five hundred and the eight thousand series. They have, they have what you need in order to use your EcoTank 8550, 8500, 8000 as a sublimation ink. 